I'm going to teach you a way of supporting the pH and carbonate alkalinity in your pond or aquarium in a method that is affordable and just about effortless. My name is Dr. Eric Johnson. I'm a veterinarian with a specialty in fish health. What I'm going to talk to you about today is a thing called a pH pill. And it's a way of supporting the pH in your system to keep it from crashing into the acid ranges. I have other videos that talk about pH and what's going on with that. It might be if you don't know what you need to know about pH or if that seems unfamiliar to you, um, to take a good look, good, uh, take a look at those videos and catch yourself up on that. But for those of you who understand pH, you know that the pH needs to stay in the vicinity of neutral for most species of fish. Now, it's not true for some South American species prefer a pH that's lower, and, and this information regarding pH pills is not for you. Um, African cichlids like a pH that's a good bit higher. These pH pills are perfect for you. So pH pill concept is basically making um, hardened pieces of plaster of Paris that is going to Home Depot or Lowe's or any place building supplies are sold and finding plaster of Paris. It's used uh, these days in two areas. It's used in hobby uh, crafting where you want to make a casting of, say, a, a dog or a kid's foot, or if you want to cast different shapes like animals and starfish and that sort of thing, you would pour plaster of Paris into those molds. It's also used in the building industry um, to patch holes in um, drywall. Uh, gypsum, limestone, calcium carbonate, those are the ingredients in, um, in um, uh, um, plaster of Paris. Well, the long and the short of it is if you make a uh, tablet or piece uh, or puck or muffin tin with plaster of Paris hardened in it and let those dry very completely, those can be dropped into the water with your fish in uh, some small or moderate amount, and they will very, very slowly dissolve over time and provide calcium and pH support to the animals in that system. This is really important when you're dealing with uh, animals that require a certain amount of calcium, like um, uh, puffer fish, brackish water fish, African cichlids, and crayfish really appreciate having some calcium. Also, um, water snails, particularly the mystery snails and Japanese trapdoor snails, very much appreciate having some calcium in the, in the water. Um, all fish appreciate not having a pH that sags, and that's where the pH pills come into the greatest use. So all I do is go down to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, and in the uh, craft section or in the drywall section, you'll find what is it's just labeled plaster of Paris. And plaster of Paris can be made out of uh, calcium carbonate, calcium sulfate, gypsum, and limestone, any uh, sort of arrangement of those things, and I've used all of them. In my book, Koi Health and Disease, the uh, product that I used was uh, from Home Depot. That was a plaster of Paris that was made with uh, limestone and calcium carbonate. And uh, the pH pills that I'm making nowadays, and that's based on the availability of this plaster of Paris, are made with the calcium carbonate, calcium sulfate. The uh, key to that is making sure that the pH pills are completely and utterly dry before you use them. So when you're getting ready to make the Plaster of Paris uh, pills, all you do is mix the Plaster of Paris with water to come up with a wet consistency. You can make it into a ploppy or pasty consistency, which is fine. 